Beirut has over time developed quite a thick skin. He says he's learned not how to resist criticism, but how to embrace it. If I had one thing that I did wrong at the beginning, it was the minute someone started objecting to something I designed, I started mounting a masterful defense of it from every possible angle. And now, if someone doesn't like my design, I just draw it out of them in every loving detail. What else don't you like about it? How much do you hate it? What do you hate more, the color or the shape? I mean, I really try to, cause partly because I think people are frightened they're not going to be listened to. And you learn things by listening to them. You really do. You really do. How old were you when you knew you had developed that simpatico? Because that sounds like a great formula for any relationship. That you can be with somebody and go, oh, I did that. Tell me everything I need to know about what was wrong with that. This was after I was grown up and working as a designer a few years, but still defending my work all the time, really trying to sell it. And my brother, who's a civil engineer, asked me to do a logo for his civil engineering company. I, I like sent him some drawings, and he didn't like the first few, and I just thought that was funny. And I was like, what don't you like about them? And he told me, then I said, oh, I, I get it, okay. So what, is, what do you want? You want something more like this? So then I, I tried some other things. There was just something so open and pleasant about that relationship that I remember think I literally thought, shoot, if I could do that every time, I'd really... That I'd, that would be so much fun to work for people if I could just like treat give everyone just like plain old right you remove so much stuff. anxiety yeah. out of your yeah, world yeah, right yeah absolutely I mean the worst solution the worst uh, outcome is someone just nodding and sort of saying well you've given us a lot to think about and then they go away and then you know you'd have no idea what happens uh, what moaning happens after the door closes behind you and then you get some memo with a thousand bullet points on it where it's just picked out from every direction. I mean, just sort of someone looking in the eye and say, saying, I love it or I hate it is really bracing. But in both those cases, what's great is that they're participating in the moment and actually, to a certain degree, permitting themselves to enjoy the same creative process that, that I've been enjoying.